Like I said, today we didn't find anything, but we did get a Sub-Zero from GameStop. This one, they call it the Winter Purple. So now we have Winter Purple and we have Out of the Shadows Scorpion. So we'll do the unboxing for both of these since Mortal Kombat's the new movie out right now. And uh, yeah, it should be fun. Again, this is my first McFarlane toy. Never got a product from McFarlane, so I'm super stoked about that. So we'll see uh, what McFarlane is all about. Oh, and for those of you who have been following, GameStop is still giving me a hard time with this $5 coupon. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully by tomorrow it's all figured out because it is May the 4th, and I'm hoping to get something Star Wars. All right, so let's get these guys out of the box. And here he is, out of the box. It is get over here mode. Pretty awesome. Take a closer look. What's nice is, uh, again, like I said, this is my first McFarlane toy, but the layers on this guy is awesome. A lot of different layers. As you can tell, this gray piece here is a shirt. You can tell that's like an under layer. And then this is a separate layer here. So that's pretty cool. His katana, his short blade, which is nice. It don't slip out or nothing. Look at this face work. Pretty rad. Great figure. The only thing I would have to say that I don't like is this right here, this defect, but it's okay. It's not too bad. Articulation is great. The only thing I don't like is the hood and his mask. It's a little, you can obviously turn it and you could probably do a 360, but you're probably gonna get some paint smear, so I'm not gonna try it. But his face does move in there. It's got a little look down view. Look up a little bit. I can look up a little bit more by just tilting his his inner face up, but not too shabby, pretty good. So yeah, I would have to say, uh, definitely like it. He's pretty cool. Stoked to get the uh, other one out. Check it out. If you are a Mortal Kombat fan, I'd say it's a definite uh, pickup. He even comes up with this stand with a peg for his foot. But as you can see, he stands up pretty well on his own. So that's pretty cool. Nice to have. And while uh, while I was opening the box, I saw this. Oh, not that artwork, hold on. On this side, it's pretty cool. <laughs> comes with a katana so when you open the bottom it's the full sword that's pretty cool but yeah there he is there's scorpion all right we're gonna get sub-zero out and then uh compare the two and uh see how they look so stay tuned i right, select Sub Zero. Here he is. Pretty cool. I like it. So, when I was playing with him, I realized look at that. <laughs> He's got toe. Toe articulation. And I thought maybe it was just this figure, but it's not. Um, Scorpion has it too. 
So that's really cool. I like that. Closer look. Great detail. And again, the layering on these figures are just awesome. Just awesome. Again, mine has a small little defect right there, but I can get over it. His head though, his articulation in the head is very, very minimal. But that's all right. Just have to make do. So I know somebody might comment and say it's silly, but I love having accessories. Love them. The only thing I don't like is when you give me accessories and there's nowhere to put it if I don't want the figure to have it in its hands. So even though these axes are awesome, the mold's cool, the paint's cool, or should I say the color that they use to mold. The uh, axes are cool, but if I don't want it in his hands, there's nowhere to put them. There's nowhere to store them. And I know some of you can say, well, just don't, don't use it. Like, so for instance, Scorpion has his katana and his short blade. And if I don't want him in his hands, guess what? They can be a sheath and on his waist. His hook, unfortunately, it is what it is. It's either gonna be in his hand or it's not. There's definitely nowhere you can put that. But when it comes to Sub-Zero, these axes, there's just, you're not putting it anywhere. It's either in his hands or or stored away somewhere. Now, what would have been cool is he's got all these blades. Look at that. There's one, two, three, four. He's got five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see if he has anything anywhere else. This guy's got six blades. Six blades. I'm sorry, no, not six. Ten blades. Right? One, two, three, four, five. Five on one side, five on the other side. Ten blades. This guy has ten blades. And guess how many you can take out? None. They're all just molding. And listen, I get it. They're small, they're choking hazards. I get it. But the packaging does say for 14 and older. I think every 14 year old would know not to put these small pieces in their mouths. So instead of the axe, I would have loved to see some of these blades come out. And again, if I'm not using it, I can put them away. But um, I don't know. I think it's a little missed opportunity. Even if you had the axes, maybe have like one or two blades, like especially like these main big ones right here on his hips, maybe have those be able to come out. I think that would have been pretty cool. But... Overall, again, not saying it's a bad figure. I love him. He's cool. I'm happy I got him. But I think it would have been cool if, uh, you know, would have been able to have the uh, some of the some of the blades come out, and I don't know, maybe do without the axis, but. Uh, it's such a hard toss-up because the axes do give him a great look. Like, come on, look at that stance. That's that's awesome. 
especially if he's getting ready to fight. Let's face him this way. Chest out. Let's get him in here. Let's turn his head. There he is. Now let's get Scorpion out. That's awesome. Maybe we, just, maybe we can flip them around. Yeah, let's do that. Let's flip them around. Let's put him over here. This way. So we'll do a flat foot here. Turn his head this way. Maybe drop this down a little bit. Again, the, artic the articulation in these figures are just awesome. We'll figure this out. Hold on. Stay with me here. Stay with me, people. There we go. Awesome. So McFarlane, good job. Good job on these figures. The layering is awesome. The paint's awesome. Minor defects, but I feel like, hey, that's a hit or miss with when it comes to any any figures you get. But here you go. Mortal Kombat. Scorpion versus Sub Zero. And again, please like, subscribe. Leave some comments, let me know what you think, and uh, stay tuned for another toy hunt or unboxing. You guys have a good night. Bye.